Good morning you guys, it's Karen and today I'm talking favourites. It's ages since I've done a favourites and I've got some things here that I really, really like. And this isn't like first impressions, I really like them. I really, really like these. I think these are like a few holy grail products going on here. So firstly, let's talk self tans because I have been working through, I've got a box probably yay big of self tanners and I have been working through trying them all. There's so many that just sit there and I'm like, oh, I can't bother to tan my body or whatever, you know? And so I've been working through them and really watching how do they, you know, fade on my neck? Do they fade patchy? How are they on my legs? That kind of thing. And trying out the ones, I bought a lot of these one hour tans and hadn't used them, but I've now got these two, which I would say are my kind of holy grails going forward. So the first one, they're both Saint Tropez, who remember I thought they weren't cruelty free, but they are. In fact, some of their items are vegan. I don't know whether they're all vegan, but um, yeah, I was chuffed with that because I've always loved Saint Tropez. But this one is the Saint Tropez Purity Vitamins. And it's like, I don't know if you can see, it's like a sort of gel. It's like a gel serum. I've used half a bottle already, um, but it's a lovely gel serum that you put on and it feels like a moisturizer, you know, it's really, really lovely to put on, but it also rubs in really easily. It doesn't doesn't dry down instantly because some self tans, I feel like you put them on and it's like, oh no, I don't know whether I've distributed that enough. You know, am I gonna have a big white patch here? Because I don't like ones with a color guide. And I use this on my face and neck, by the way, I don't use it on my whole body, obviously. But also this is really moisturizing. And so it doesn't, it doesn't feel greasy at all, but it does feel like it's given me some hydration. Because the way I do my face and neck self tan, I used to do it at night. I used to put it on as a kind of night cream as the last step in my skincare routine. And just overnight, I would have a tan. I found that since putting on weight, I would get these ridges here, you know, where the lines are, they would, they would be white and it would just be completely patchy on my neck. So what I do now is I do my tan during the day. So if I'm going out, I will get up and do everything, put my SPF on, and then this will be after my SPF. And then usually I don't put any makeup on top of it, but sometimes I will and it's absolutely fine on top of this. Or if I'm not leaving the house and I'm you know, keeping the curtains closed if it's sunny, <laughs> then I will just put this instead of SPF and it's enough hydration on its own. So I love this. It doesn't seem to go patchy on me. It's a nice color on me. It's not too dark. I've, I've got rid of all the tans that were way too dark for me. Love this, absolutely love this. So I'll be using this going forward. Then I used this all over my body and I actually used the other one. You get this in a gel form as well. Um, exactly the same. This one's a mousse, the other one's a gel. The gel one was a little bit patchy. So I assumed this would be, but thought I'm, I need to give it a try before just going, no, it's no good. So I put this on with a mitt all over my body one and a half hours later, because it says one hour for a light tan, two hours for medium, three hours for dark. One and a half hours later, I had a shower and I had the loveliest color and it lasted really, really well. It wasn't patchy at all on my feet, which is really unusual. I've not particularly got dry feet, you know, on the top of my feet, but it just, I just never seemed to be able to get an even tan, but I did with this. It looked really natural as well. It didn't just look like I had dirty feet, you know. Um, really, really liked that. And so I will definitely use that again. And I'd be confident using this again if ever I was showing my legs, which I don't do very often. But, you know, if I wanted to wear a skirt or a dress or something, um, I would probably turn to this. And I used it on my arms, um, even right up to my hands. But after washing it off, it wasn't like... Again, normally if I use a self-tanner on my hands, in fact, there's still a little bit of it left, to be honest, it will go it will just look really unnatural. I normally have to use a gradual tanner, but this was fine, so love that. So two really good self tanners there. I'm gonna save the makeup for last because they are the most exciting things, I think. Um, but next to tell you about are two cleansers that I love so much, and these are both by Revolution. The first one is the Cloud Bursting Cleanse. It says, this is, um, do they both say mood? Oh yeah, mood, this one is thirsty, this one is stressed. So this one is a quenching cleansing cream. So I have used up to there. And I will be repurchasing this for sure. Now it does say to use this with water, like to massage in, and I have tried it that way and it was nice enough, but I like to use this just as a cleanser with cotton wool. So I've been putting this on a cotton wool pad, taking my makeup off, even my eye makeup, and I really like it. And it smells of, I think it's cucumber. It's a really, really fresh scent and there isn't a huge amount of added fragrance in. It's not something that I think will irritate your skin. If you've got super sensitive skin, maybe you need to 
be a bit careful with it but um i don't i don't like fragrance in in skincare which is why revolution skincare is not something that i usually use you know i've done an anti haul on revolution but these two are brilliant and i don't normally i'm not normally as bothered by things that are i'm taking off my face if that makes sense and it's a light scent it's not a strong perfumed scent it is just like i said a sort of like fresh cucumber type of smell absolutely love this and like i said i'm nearly out of it and i will buy another bottle i think they're 9.99 so they're not like super inexpensive um but they're lovely oh that's lovely and then this one is the cleansing oil this one the mood is calming so helps melt away that stressful day um i've used that up to there because i got this one this wasn't available the first time I, I went in the shops but i've recently found it and i love this and actually the first thing i thought when i used this in the shower was oh this is a dupe of the chamomile cleansing oil by the body shop but it's not actually a dupe because this is 10 pound um and you get 140 mil the clem the chamomile one from the body shop is 14 pound but you get 200 mil so they're probably about the same price um but this is really good it's one of those that you know goes milky i can take all of my eye makeup off and it doesn't sting my eyes at all um it doesn't leave any residue on my skin it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy at all but neither does my skin feel tight you know i don't need to instantly rush and do my skincare really love this and i can see this being a repurchase as well so highly recommend those two two random amazon purchases um which funny enough both of them came from disasters the first one was you may remember i always had a square mirror that had flowers on it like this one um, but it was a fabric type one and it had a mirror in it like that and you can stand the mirror up I don't know how but I smashed it I managed to smash the mirror and as you know that's supposed to be bad luck but um, I instantly went on Amazon to find another one and I'm loving this this one is because it's not fabric you could clean it if it if it got you know too much hair product on it or whatever um, but it's much sturdier than my other one so I can have it like the mirror right the way back there and it stands up and that's good when you've got it sitting in front of you and you want to get to the exact right angle so i use this in the living room for putting my velcro rollers in for you know doing this little thing in my hair i do that in the morning with it i use it for taking my makeup off for putting my makeup on all of that sort of thing and i will also take this away with me on holiday because it's brilliant to just sit on a side and and use for everything love that so i got that from amazon i'll make sure i link that for you the other disaster I had, you may remember, I ruined both my makeup bag and my cleansing bag, my skincare bag, put them in the washing machine and it just fell to bits. Um, so I was using the, you know, those organizers, you would think they would be in my favorites and they are a favorite, but they're more, I'm enjoying them more for my grooming things and for my doggy things. So I'm talking about those sort of fabric they're diaper bags actually with little pockets and whatnot in them i'm absolutely loving them for all things watson i've got my skincare one and i am enjoying it but i don't like how it looks you know i like how convenient it is that i can see everything i don't have to dig out in a bag or anything but yeah i don't know whether i'll use it forever more if that makes sense and i've got a few that i'm using for different things that i also enjoy but i tried makeup in it in the smaller one and i was just like no i just this is just not going to work for me i'm just going to be digging through things so i needed to find a replacement for my makeup bag and i like a big makeup bag i'm not somebody that's got like a little makeup bag like this and this is what i found and i love it i absolutely love it now this could be for you a skincare bag if you don't have a ton of stuff like me i have at the moment i've got my led mask and the little foreo bear that i'm using and blah 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 so it would, probably wouldn't fit in here but you might be able to fit your skincare in here or if you are really minimalist you might be able to fit your skincare and makeup in here but for me this is for my makeup so i don't ever use this mirror but it's got these three little elastic bands here and then with my makeup i have these are my sort of pencils and liquid lipsticks these are just sort of little pots of things little single eye shadows or little concealers or whatever eyebrow powder then i've got my makeup brushes and then that's the rest of my makeup in there so there is there's an eyeshadow palette in there there's usually another one in there i'm going to show you there's a couple of blushes foundations makeup setting spray yeah all that kind of thing bronzers and i just love this it is the perfect size for me if you have a lot of makeup i think you'll love it but like i said if you don't you could use this for skincare or you might even be able to use it for both i think when i was in my 20s i would have fitted everything for both in here this would have covered my skincare and my makeup easily and that would have been it that would have been all i owned 
Um, but I was saying to my husband that I think what I'll do is I'll just grab this and take this on holiday rather than trying to make myself up a little makeup bag or make myself up a little skincare bag. I'm just gonna grab this and go. Um, it looks really nice, doesn't it? I just love that. I've always loved that sort of patent, sort of crocodile effect. Okay, then I've got four makeup items, two of which I just think are so, so exciting. Um, the other two are really good, but they're just not that exciting. So the first one is this. This is the e.l.f. Undry Powder. And I just wanted to talk about this because um, they come in different colours, I think, which is why I'm showing you the colour. Oh, it does say on the side, Sheer Infinity. Sheer Infinity. Um, I love this powder. For the under eye which is what it's for but you can actually use it on its own to brighten up the under eye which is just what i did i've already filmed this but the footage was a bit odd so i'm doing it again but i have i've forgotten to put any concealer on this morning but i usually use this to set my concealer but can you see that it just gives you a little bit of brightening just using it on its own so i love that about it it doesn't seem to settle into my lines it doesn't seem to what else <laughs> what else was i meaning what else doesn't it do it's not too shiny some of the ones that are under eyes i think are too sparkly shiny kind of thing and this one isn't at all but neither is it too matte it's almost like a little satin one it's really really nice and i think these under eye powders there's a lot of high-end brands that are quite expensive but this is really really good um and there isn't that many things from elf that i love but i love that under eye powder and i've been using that for months and months and months so it's not a new item this next one I think I've showed you this before, but I had to show you it again because I'm now using it even more than I was. And it's never left my makeup bag. This has been my kind of accompanying palette for many, many months, but I've also now started using some of the shadows. So this is on my eyes today. I've got this as my crease color. Did I tell you what this is? This is the Morphe palette 18T. I love the packaging. I love that it's not too big. You know, there's a lot bigger palettes by Morphe, but I, I wouldn't buy them. And I think think you can tell because the 18 is because they've got 18 shadows and so they do like 24 and 36 and I just wouldn't buy ones that big. But these shadows, I haven't found a bad one. They're all really easy to blend. They're not too powdery, but they've got plenty of pigment. I'm nearly go, going to the middle on this one, which is, I think I said when I showed it before, it's like a dupe of, no, it's like the eyeshadow called Malt by MAC. And that it's just a great crease color. I use this for everything. It's a sort of ever so slight dusty pink beige. Goes with so many things. And in this palette, you could do a warm look, a cool look, and then you've got these two sort of purpley colors on the end. It's really, really versatile. Um, and today I've got this color on, on my lid. So I've got this on the crease, this on my lid, and then I used this one in my outer corner. I didn't think it would be dark enough, but I think it is. You know, I didn't want too dark a color. The only one thing I would change about it to make it like a 10 out of 10 instead of a 9.5 out of 10 is this colour here. It's a beautiful colour. I've never actually tried it on my lid. It's really, really pretty. But it is a very shiny one, as you can see. And I wish it was matte um, because this one isn't light enough. I like to put a matte cream colour on my sort of brow bone here and just sort of to blend the edges there. And I have to, I always go to another palette to get that sort of cream colour because that one's just a bit too dark. That one is matte and this one is too shiny. Um, but other than that, it's got everything you need in it. I don't have much experience with Morphe shadows. I don't know whether they're usually this good quality. Um, the only other ones, I think I did get another one and I decanted them, I remember. And I also did that with the Morphe Cross Jacqueline Hill, but they were really good shadows as well. So I haven't had any issues at all I think they're really really good quality shadows so if you're looking for a real basic palette that you can get lots of warm and cool neutral looks out of I'd highly recommend this palette the 18T. Okay now for the exciting items hopefully you're as excited as I am firstly is it's just an eyeliner pencil but do you remember I came and told you about the milk makeup eyeliner pencil it is the only liner that has ever stayed in my waterline ever and I have tried maybe hundreds <laughs> I've tried a lot every single one that you guys have ever suggested to me I have tried all the all the usual suspects the Marc Jacobs didn't work they just never worked they never stayed in my eyes they would gather in the corner and look horrible you know I'd have black pool in there or they'd be completely under my eyes after a couple of hours until I found the milk makeup one but the milk makeup one is 20 pound and I don't mind paying something like that 
if it's something I use occasionally or it's something that, that lasts a long time, but it doesn't last a long time at all. It's something I use every day. So I use a black liner in my upper waterline, just like so. So I saw, I'll still try new eyeliners now and again. I think, oh, well, you never know. I, I might find a, a less expensive one. This is by Beauty Bay and it's £12.50 and it is as good as the Milk Makeup one. So I am delighted. It's got a little sharpener in the end. I haven't needed to use that at all. I don't particularly need it to be that sharp. But what I love about this is it's a nice intense black. So it's not like a wishy-washy gray black. It's an intense black. When I put it in my eyes, color comes off, you know, because I have tried a few pencils where you're putting it on your waterline, but because I suppose you're not really supposed to put <laughs> eyeliner there, but it can sometimes, no colors coming off and you're like, there's no color payoff from this, but this goes on a nice intense line. So it's nice and creamy and it stays. It doesn't, I could be wrong, it doesn't stay for 12 hours, but neither does the, the Milk Makeup one, you know. But what I like about it is it disappears. It's almost like it must go into my lashes or into my eyeliner. It doesn't gather in the corner. It doesn't smudge underneath my eyes. And I've worn this in upper and lower liner. So £12.50 this, so it's nearly half the price of the Milk Makeup one, so I'm chuffed with that. I hate telling you guys about expensive things, so I get excited when I find something that's just as good but less expensive, you know. The final favourite I only bought, was it yesterday or the day before? I've only had them a couple of days and it's lashes. I've got the lashes on and I love these. I am going to go and order another couple of pairs of these today, even though these are supposed to be reusable. They were a really good price. Now I can't remember what the price was, so I'll put it on screen. But I remember thinking that that's a good price for what are foam mink lashes, um, because the ones that I used to buy were the Eyelure ones and they were £10. Um, Whereas, you know, normal lashes are like 5 99 or 6 99 I haven't seen these in boots. I got these from Superdrug, which is a shame because they, they might have the three for two deal on, you know. Um, I think these were maybe 8 99 But, uh, you know, like I said, I think that that's a good price for really good eyelashes that are foam mink. The band was a little bit thicker than I expected. I couldn't actually see that in the packet. But these are what I've been looking for for a long time. They're those sort of spiky lashes, but I didn't want them too obviously spiky. You know, like there's little gaps in between them. I'll show you them close up, but I did have to cut them down a little bit, but I just think they look, they've got a little touch of glamour, but they're a bit more natural than the, the normal spiky lashes. I think they're absolutely beautiful. These are my favorite, favorite lashes that I've ever had. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with them. These are called Walk of Fame. This the, the company is the Eyelash Emporium Pro and these are the Walk of Fame ones. I've got one other pair that I tried to put on first, but they just, I couldn't get them to bend. But um, I think that these might be a collaboration with somebody called Bell. Um, they were on its own sort of stand in Superdrug, but I just love them. So hopefully you That's do too. everything. Um, I am starting to get used to my hair. I was going to curl it this morning and see what it liked, what it looks like curled, because it will make it look shorter. That's the only thing. But I was like, no, you know what? I don't hate it as much. So I think it just takes a few weeks to get used to a shorter haircut, doesn't it? Um, and I'm just gonna grow it out again, you know, knowing that it's nice and healthy. So I'm definitely getting used to it. You might see some weird hairstyles while I get used to it. <laughs> That's everything for today's favorites. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed telling you about them. I, I just thought these, I, I was tempted to call it this a really, really favorites because I feel like these are extra favorites this month, you know? Um, let me know if you've tried any of these, if you agree, if if you're really enjoying them as well. Um, hopefully I haven't made your shopping list too long. Um, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. I have got on the Laura Mercier Silk Pro Foundation. Is it Silk Pro? Silk Cream Foundation in 3C. Um, on my eyes, you know, is the Morphe palette plus those lashes that I told you about. On my cheeks is the e.l.f. blush in Always Preppy, I think it's called. It's nice, but I have to say it's hard to blend. You know, like it's that one with the, supposedly got primer in it. But you put it on and it's like that's kind of where it's stuck because this morning I was trying to blend it in and it just wouldn't budge and I had to put powder over the top of it. But other than that, it's pretty. Um, I've got Steely Liquid Lipstick on my lips in Caramello and then this is a liquid lip colour by Collection in In The Buff, In The Buff 2. Um, it's more like a lip, a lip gloss than it is a liquid lip colour as it says. Um, but it has got a bit of colour, but I really like this. This is my perfect type of lip gloss, actually, because I wanted to get another one from Primark, but the Primark that is closest to me where I could drive and park doesn't have 
the that brand of skincare you know the Alex Steiner stuff that's the lip gloss I liked um, so I'll have to wait until I go into Edinburgh and then normally the queue is just crazy in there anyway that's everything for today I hope that you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon